Welcome to the Teaching Tax Flow Podcast, where the goal is to empower and educate you to legally and ethically minimize taxes paid over your lifetime. Welcome, everybody, back to Teaching Tax Flow, the podcast. As always, John Trapolsky, your host here of the show. However, there's somebody who is normally on my right. He has been on my left, I think, one time throughout all these episodes. He is not here with us today. So in theory, Chris Pacuro is here with us. However, I have somebody new and exciting to introduce to everybody. So I know there's a lucky few out there that have had a chance to meet him. A uh, great looking guy. So we'll we'll go ahead and put him on a pedestal. Um, you know what? Instead of me giving the intro to this handsome gentleman, we'll let that do it. Eh, we'll let him do it. What do you say, big guy? Who are you? Hey. What are you doing here? <laughs> Thanks, John. Hey, uh, my name is Nate Hamill. I am the vice president of member engagement with TTF, uh, and I am excited to be here. Uh, I do not have the same tax level knowledge that Chris does, but I do have a little bit more hair, um, though my four kids are thinning it out rather quickly. Of course, you had to start this with a hair reference, right? So I I, I love to throw those in. It, it's always, it makes it fun. So, it's which tradition. is... Which really, uh, so on this episode, we're we're going to take, or we're going to throw you a little bit of a curveball. So instead of kind of dropping knowledge bombs, if you, if you will, with that, we figured we might as well introduce ourselves to a little bit. So obviously, majority of people here know Chris. Um, there is a team behind that wise man that really helps with teaching tax law as far as ever de- the development goes. Um, as Nate will get into a little bit, his background and, and how he ended up here. Um, he is a lot of the, um, let's say the public facing side of things is the VP of member engagement. So you guys will be seeing a lot of him around. He has been working with us for a while here, um, but we figure we just let him out of the cage. So we, we figure we let the, yes, let sir. the world see this guy. So now you can stretch a little bit, Nate. What do you think about that, buddy? I love it. Let's do it. Awesome, man. Well, well, let's start off. Um, so I know that I'm actually on this a lot, a lot with Chris too. And I, you know, I would pass it over to Nate to to come up with a bio or an introduction for me. But I like the guy, but I think that he would take advantage of this, and this would be his opportunity to, <laughs> to really, really stick one to me. Um, so if you guys didn't know, um, I'm actually the VP of marketing here at Teaching Tax Flow. Me and Nate work a lot together. So any of the messaging y'all will see on on social media and the emails that go out, really just a lot of the content that, that we extrapolate from Chris's brain, as we should say. Um, we end up kind of setting some eyeballs on it and and working working towards things. So Nate, why don't we why don't we start off? Um, give us a little bit of your background, man. I know I know you've been been in this world, not the not the teaching tax flow one for extremely long, but how in the world did you end up here, brother? Yeah. So uh John, it's funny. Life has a funny way of twisting and turning uh, and falling into place. So for the last decade, I ran a very successful uh financial advising practice. I owned it. I had a team, um, but the more I did that, the more I realized, man, I really love the educating side. I really love the communicating value. Um, And so I felt a pull. I felt a call. I told my wife, I said, hey, 2022 is going to be the last year uh, I think I have this practice. I wanted to spend more time with my kids. I wanted to really feel like I was impacting more people. And uh, one of Chris's business partners in his accounting firm is a friend of mine. And I happened to tell him, uh, Sean, I said, hey, Sean, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to sell my practice. Um, and Sean was very quick to say, hey, I need to introduce you to someone. Fast forward, I'm talking to Chris Pacuro. Um, fast forward again to October, we're finalizing everything. And January 1st of this year, off we went. Awesome. It's amazing how fast time flies and just how you connect with people, isn't it? Absolutely. I feel like I've known you guys forever. So John, it wouldn't be fair of me to give my background when you're now what 16 episodes deep into the podcast. Oh, and, and on that note too, I'm going to cut you off. And why don't we, uh, why don't we give a little thank you to the supporter of this podcast? You like Let's how I just it. dropped that in there. So love it. This podcast is sponsored by reps tracker. Are you a real estate investor who is bogged down with a huge tax burden? Real estate investing can open the door to powerful tax benefits. Reps Tracker can streamline the process of accelerating these tax benefits. To take advantage of a special TTF community discount, go to www.repstracker.com slash affiliate slash teaching tax flow and use the code IFG. You can look in our show notes or email us at hello at teaching tax All right, Nate, I tried. 
I, I tried to avoid this. Um, I don't even remember what you asked me, to be honest. I'm trying to avoid anything about me, but yeah. I guess I, I guess I am a, a few episodes into these things. So, yeah, um, I guess I give you a couple little nuggets w- yeah, without please. going into too much detail. Um, I know in some of the, the earlier podcasts, and I probably had kind of peppered it out there a little bit. So me and Chris have known each other for, man, 20 plus years, actually. So he was the accountant. Um dare I say bookkeeper, I think is how my, my grandma used to refer to him. <laughs> so he, he was, he was the financial guy, let's put it that way, um, for my grandparents. And then my parents, if I remember correctly, and and Chris, you know, if, if he was here, you'd correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe my grandparents are one of his first clients when he bought his practice, you know, 20 plus years ago. So I, I naturally kind of fell into the mix with, with him. So he has seen me from a uh, little, little young John running around, probably doing a bunch of uh, stupid stuff and <laughs> whatnot until hopefully I'm a little bit better these days, but yeah, over 20 years, I mean, I, I took on, you know, lots of projects. Me and Chris have always kind of stayed in contact. We've been looking for, for a lot of opportunities to work together and we have on, you know, yeah. kind of ad hoc occasions, but for, for about 10 years, I actually had a, a digital marketing agency and myself. So we had, um, we're based in in Charleston, South Carolina, and you know a lot of our a lot of our clientele was down there. A lot naturally in in the Detroit area. Um, had some satellite sales offices on the West Coast and in Colorado. So naturally, I I picked areas I like to visit because it gave me a reason to go out there. But yeah. um, met a lot of different types of businesses, a lot of different types of people. I should say that ran those types of businesses. Um, you know the decision makers. Uh, and really just, it, it's been a, it's been a fun rodeo is, was the best way I can put it. And kind of, kind of the same to you, Nate, a little bit is, you know, at some point you kind of, you have to make that decision, right. Of, of which right. route you want to yeah. take. Um, fortunately for me, I am, I am extremely stubborn. So I am very lucky and blessed in the sense that my wife is better looking and smarter than I am and forced me Mine to too. move back, move back to Michigan. Um, and in probably a three week time frame, I realized that I had been in the burnout state for probably about a year mm-hmm. um, and decided it was time to to look at some other opportunities. So yeah. um, skipping forward, you know, a couple of years after that, there was one, two, let's see, we're in 23. So that was five years ago, um, 2018. Um, and then joining Chris, obviously, in this venture early of last year. So we're, we're looking forward to it, as as Chris likes to say, and as we all do as a, as a team, it's, you know, now we have the right pieces in play. So this is great. Yeah. And, and John, you said something that struck a chord with me. You'd reached that burnout phase and it was time to pursue passion. And, and as I look at, at what TTF is, it's, I, I think that's the very nature, <clears throat> excuse me, of TTF is that we're pursuing passion, but we're partnering with our members for them to pursue their passion, whether it's real estate, whether it's side hustle, whether it's gig economy, we are here to make your passion as easily pursued as possible. And I think that's, what's been so great about my journey with TTF is, you know, I'm coming in the three of us, you guys have known each other 20 years, but I'll tell you, we hang out. It feels like we've known each other that long as well. Absolutely. I remember the first time we actually met you. I think we were at a, at a conference in Orlando. And then the second time we got together, I think we were back down in Florida as well. And, and Nate, kind of to your point too. And it's funny because now I, I mean, obviously we talk daily multiple times anyways, but even in this conversation, it's, I, w- I, I would almost say that it's rare that we have these conversations when we're not talking about yeah. the content and really the makeup of teaching tax flow specifically. But you, you did say something there that kind of throwing it back into my court, you know, that what really drew us to working with this project and launching teaching tax flow, I think is very similar to just what the, we'll say the average individual could benefit from this. Right. So it's, I am not a tax professional Mm -hmm. by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I can sure pretend like I'm one. um, But honestly, I probably knew less about even just your generic, or I should say generic, but even just your standard returns, um, until I asked the questions and, yeah. and fortunately for me, um, I had that individual in my life, AKA Chris, AKA mm-hmm. probably the head of my board of directors, which is a whole nother topic we've talked on before and, and we'll yeah. jump into in a later episode. But if you don't really pursue the answers to any of those questions, you really just kind of ride the magic carpet in hopes it's going to take you where, where it goes. Right. Exactly. And, and, and to that point, I think giving freedom and space to ask the questions to people. 
And I think that John, one of the things that makes us unique at here at TTF is how approachable and laid back we are. Um, you know, it's, it's so funny to me that naturally our styles are all pretty much the same. If we're going to dress up to go out to an event, it's probably a nice pair of jeans, a t-shirt and a blazer or something over it. Like that's just our go-to look. Um, but I think that's also speaks to our approachability that our members and our clients and our friends can come and ask questions. The defeating taxes, Facebook page, they can find me on Instagram. They can find us anywhere and ask those questions. And those questions are oftentimes we give the answer, but then we go, we got to make more content. We have to go put content together. And that's exciting for me. Um, you know, a, a bit of background that, that I love to share with people. My dad is a very successful CPA. My mom is a very, very good teacher. She taught elementary school my whole, the whole time I was growing up. So I always tell people, even though I was a financial advisor, I have my dad's numbers brain, but I have my mom's teacher's heart. And for me, sitting in front of people and educating them is my passion. It's what I'm excited about. Um, it just happens to be that I worked in the industry, in the financial services industry. And now to bring that knowledge here, I'm excited about the content we're going to create, the courses we're going to put out there, the questions we're going to answer. And hopefully one day the lives we're going to change from people pursuing their passion because they have the resources to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's the topic that has come up you know, even just in conversations, uh, I, I want to say it was actually with, with you and I and, and Chris and some other team members. And I think we we're at an event before where it, where it came up as, you know, what's one of the biggest hurdles, you know, maybe not in starting a business, but one of the ones you quickly realize thereafter is, is taxes, right? It, it's almost, right. you know, why are some people possibly talked out of going into business for themselves? Because yeah. they immediately think, oh, wow, be like, I am going to get taxed to death or I don't even know how to pursue it or how to set it up. Right. Um, kind of these, you know, we wouldn't say simple questions, but kind of yeah. your 101 level questions that if you don't have answers for at least that little bit of guidance, um, you know, mm -hmm. from a tax perspective, you could be going to the completely wrong path, a.k.a. not even doing it at all. And then you're stuck, uh, you know, use the, the crazy analogies, but then you're basically stuck in a cubicle you know, stapling papers together and, and wondering what if, and, and here you are time to retire and you have a lot of regrets. So when you say changing lives, I think what we're doing, um, I mean, not to put us on a pedestal in that regard, but I, I definitely think it's going to impact a lot of people and, and change their perspectives on things. And obviously the outcomes Yeah, is this goes far beyond a return. Mm -hmm. it, like what we have goes so far beyond that. It is it's almost ridiculous to think about it, but it absolutely is true. Absolutely. Um, I don't know if it's my blessing or my curse. I kid, it's 100% a blessing. Uh, my wife has a PhD in psychology. Uh, and it's been so fun as I've talked through this to not only hear her articulate that she sees my energy come back, but one of the things she pointed out is and she pulled up the journal ran the, found the study, everything. The number one reason couples fight is money. And you layer the stress of owning rental properties, owning a business, starting a side hustle, getting into the gig economy, whatever it may be. And you see that. I think for some people it's daunting because they're like, well, I don't know how I'm going to handle this or how I'm going to talk to my spouse or significant other about it. And I don't want to cause fights. So TTF is as much there as a anxiety calming agent as it is an educating agent. You know, we want to build people's confidence up. We want them to feel confident in the endeavor and we want them to feel knowledgeable and educated going through that. And so what I love about the setup and, and what I've told people is you don't have to memorize this information. You are free to come back as many times as you want, as many times as you need and redigest and ask clarifying questions. That's my role. If somebody has a question, hey, I understand this lesson taught this, this, and this, but I didn't quite understand this, find me. I'll sh shoot me a message. I'll get the answer for you. And more than likely, I'll probably update the course lesson too. Mm -hmm. But our goal is to really build confidence in people and provide the knowledge and give them that knowledge. Mm -hmm. And what you were saying there too is 100% true. And I, I, to be totally frank and honest, I don't, I don't think we really express that as much as we should is, is really, I mean, though, 
the content that's within teaching tax flow. Again, Chris has been doing this himself for 20 plus years. So we're not really trying to take all the information and just cram it into somebody's brain and say, this is how you do it. This is how you should do it, right? Every Everybody's situation is a little bit different, but really follow some of those, call them core checkpoints, right? Or, or core pieces of information. Yep. So really what we're working on, and, and I guess we're kind of giving a little insight into our what our day-to-day looks like with the two of us working together is, you know, really looking at this content. We're not creating the content. We're taking the questions that people have asked us um, and really just focusing it in and constantly refining, constantly refocusing it. It's never, I, I use the analogy too, is, you know, this is not the easy bake oven, you know, from us 80s children, you know, yep. or, I guess it would be 80s. Maybe it's a little earlier. Or heck, the thing's probably still around lighting microwaves on fire for all we know. But there's no set it and forget it. There's no easy button for this. Although the outcome really is an easy button compared to not doing anything at all or going about it the incorrect way, right? Right. Absolutely. I, I It's interesting as I watch my kids. So one thing, people, if you get to know me, you'll realize I'm a family man through and through. My wife, Melissa, and I have been married 15 years. I have four kids. All their names start with E. 12, 9, 6, and 3. So I am tired. I am busy, but I love mm-hmm. it. Um, but it's interesting as I watch my kids do their homework and go through school, I say to my wife, remember PhD in psychology, bonus master's degree in education. Um, I tell her, hey, why are we teaching kids to memorize facts about mountain ranges and things like that, which I think is good to learn about. But I think the real skill today is knowing where to find the information. We're in the tech generation. We're in the generation that we carry a device around that has more knowledge in it than every bit of knowledge pre-1980 combined. And so our goal is just to be a roadmap for you to find the information That way you don't have to memorize it. Your life, the the members of TTF, I hear it time and time again, the doctors, the business owners, my life is way too busy. I don't have time to to memorize all this. I just want to know I have a place to go to and I might only visit it once a month, but it's worth every penny. You mean we don't want people to go scratching at the library doors waiting for it to open because they need a quick answer like we used to do back in the day? No. (laughs) No. (laughs) <laughs> no. And, and because what happens is we follow the wrong influencer on Facebook. We follow the wrong person on Instagram. We get bad advice and suddenly the IRS is knocking on our door. We're getting a letter, a love letter from Darth Vader, if you will. We want to make sure that you are getting your tax, your money advice, your just general knowledge of how the financial world works from experts in the field not just people who are in the field but experts in the field and really to to your point with some of that as well it's you know aligning yourself with the individuals or or just that the knowledge stack if we will you know a tech stack we'll call it a knowledge stack or board of directors and really just knowing where to go for specific information i think is a beautiful thing about about what's been done with ttf right because it's just not focused on entrepreneurs or real estate investors or doctors really it's it's becoming more and more of an ecosystem because right. the content is continually being added to it i mean right. i love i love our approach to content generation because it's not we're not working off of a spreadsheet for everybody that's listening to this and we're just checking boxes saying oh let's go down the list and you know do a podcast on this topic and let's do a mini lesson on this topic we're literally taking it from those questions, as we mentioned before, and then creating that content. So it's not, Absolutely. we're not getting as big of a benefit, obviously, from putting this out into the world as as those are on the consumer side. And the glorious part about it is, is you might have an individual who has been self-employed for, say, 10, 15 years, is kind of comfortable with their, we'll call it a standardized tax prep, and they just, they really don't know anything different. But there could be a huge, huge opportunity to say investing in short-term real estate or right. getting along those lines. And and really, I hate to use the word exposes because it sounds like some like, you know, CSI thing or, or right. those lines, but really it opens the doors to 
other opportunities, which, you know, the, the best time to, to make a change usually was yesterday. So, you know, yeah. we, we, we take that approach, right? And, and, and Nate, you've done a fantastic job not to toot your horn too much, but, you know, really coming in and looking at it from your experience and not being, you know, in the tax world as right. much as, as some other right. ones. And I'm kind of stuck in the middle, right? So I'm mm-hmm. I'm the marketing guy, but I've known Chris for so long. I've gotten such good advice from him, which I could tell you firsthand, this is great not having him on here, by the way, because I can toot his horn and he doesn't hear it until later on. So, That's and I know, right. he, I know he listens to these religiously. So other people are probably going to tell him we were talking about him anyways, but it all works out. His ears are burning. Oh, totally. Totally. Um, but it's true, right? Like, and that's the, and I feel that I can completely and confidently say that he knows what he's talking about Absolutely, <laughs> to say the Absolutely. least, because it has helped you. You want to talk about some complicated returns. Um, I've had them and I have yeah. no idea what to do. I mean, and honestly you get a, you get an IRS letter or a letter, you know, from the IRS, not always bad, but Man, is it an interesting feeling when you open that up? It's like a high school girlfriend mailing yep. you something instead of handing it to you at the lunchroom, or yep. we'll say middle school. I don't know if they did that in high school, and you don't know what's in it. You don't want to open it. Even worse, John, it's a it's a we need to talk text. Yeah, that's a perfect example. Perfect example, right? It's you know, it, and and it causes anxiety. It causes stress. It causes emotions. It's I call it the kick the dog effect. Mm-hmm. I come home angry. I get upset with my wife. My wife gets upset with the kids and eventually the baby's upset. So what's he do? He yanks the 15 week old puppy's ears. Mm-hmm. But I rewind to what you said, John, if you're that self-employed person who, who has a tax preparer that they trust, whether it's the green awning, the blue awning, the red awning, whatever awning it is in your town, but maybe there's something in here that you go, I never thought about that. I never even thought to bring that up. I didn't know it was possible. We're not here to replace those existing solid relationships. We're here to add value. And so you're right, John, coming from the outside in, I think my biggest, uh, trying to find my word, my biggest task that I'm focused on is how do we make sure that this is digestible and applicable? And then from there, what's the user experience like? And so I, as we've talked about, I want to be the face. I want to be the person that people come to and say, Hey, I have this question or, Hey, can you help us tailor content for this? I mean, I'll give you a great example, John. We have a company we're we're co-branding content specifically for them that works perfectly in their niche that they're using as a pseudo client appreciation gift. Mm -hmm. So each of their clients will get this. And have access to the courses and the knowledge that applies to that. So we're excited for those opportunities. The beauty of TTF is that it's a growing library. We'll mm-hmm. stock the books with whatever you want. You just got to tell us. Absolutely. And, and really, it's interesting too, because, you know, again, the conversations we've had, I mean, I, I, I love having this, by the way, with you, because I feel yeah. like it takes us out of, you know, chatting about about all the technical stuff behind it but right. i mean in full transparency right like what's a topic that we have been we've been working towards for a while so it's not something that we're just woke up one day and we're like huh maybe we should define this but really what we you know what we've been striving for is you know what's the core of teaching tax flow right so obviously we we really drive home you know that that vision or that mission statement right of you know legally and ethically reducing the the taxes paid over one's lifetime. So basically yeah. in a nutshell, it is keeping you out of jail without paying a bunch of taxes. So without mm-hmm. forking over your entire paycheck or your, your you know your entire bank account to Uncle Sam, try to keep as, as much of that in your pocket as possible while and, being able to enjoy this side of the bars instead of behind him on the other end. And to that point, John, legally and ethically you're not going to feel like the things we are giving you are under the table. They are backed by tax code. They are backed by everything. So you can sleep well at night having the confidence that what you did, what your tax planner did is spot on. Exactly. Exactly. So I know we, we were working towards this for a while, right? So what are the two things or, or should we say part of our tagline or one of our taglines at teaching tax flow 
what is that? Because I always love hear other other people saying it. You know, I know what it is, but <laughs> yeah, John, I, I think for me, when I think of uh, what is TTF and and what is our deliverable, it's not just content at all. Uh, I think our focus is on building confidence in our members uh, that they can go out and tackle these projects, tackle these tax situations, make more money confidently. And second is delivering knowledge. I think those two go hand in hand. We're, we're going to send and, and, and give you the best knowledge in the industry because it's not just Chris developing content. We have other content creators. We're looking for content creators. And I, I, I say it constantly. If you are an expert in your field, reach out. If there's content that you can think you can provide, reach out. We want to develop and deliver top tier knowledge that ultimately leads to the end user feeling confident. Absolutely. And that's definitely something I wouldn't say that's missing in the in the online on demand educational space now, but I think there's a there's so many alignments in what we're working for, which which makes this project so exciting and this launch yeah. so exciting is that it's not just you're driving in one lane, right? right? Everything it's almost like driving into I think it's Montreal, if I remember right, right or one of the downtowns where it's just it's almost like some of the European cities where you just have all these roads just guiding into the middle, basically a a roundabout on steroids, right? Right. Almost like, like we're a just, wheel. everything leads to the middle. Exactly. I mean, and real realistically, you can enter at one point and exit at another, but you can, we'll just call it a Michigan turnaround. Hopefully yep. you can just turn right, get back and get back in the wheel and go out and do another one later. And, and that becomes your hub, right? So we're working mm-hmm. to really become that. And trust me, when I say this for everybody that's listening, it is not an easy task <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to define a lot of this stuff because it, it gets very technical, very fast. Um, which again, we have such a fantastic team and such a fantastic group of, you know, influencers and and part of this this ecosphere. Um, Nate, actually, really quick, so I'll, I'll give I'll give you a little heads up of what I'm going to ask you. But before we do that, okay. um, actually, I'll tell you it now because otherwise, otherwise, I put you on the spot too bad. But so we're going to take a quick little break here. Thank our supporter for this. Before that, while we're doing that, they're short, so you don't have a whole lot of time to think about this. Think about maybe what your top three or your favorite three things about what teaching tax flow is now and then also what we're building towards, right? So give us your top three. You got about eh, 10, 15 seconds. So go. This podcast is sponsored by Reps Tracker. Are you a real estate investor who is bogged down with a huge tax burden? Real estate investing can open the door to powerful tax benefits. Reps Tracker can streamline the process of accelerating these tax benefits. To take advantage of a special TTF community discount, go to www.repstracker.com slash affiliate slash teaching tax flow and use the code IFG. You can look in our show notes or email us at hello at teaching tax flow.com. We gave you enough time to think about it. Hopefully that was long enough. You think on yeah. your toes anyway. So, so again, hit hit us with those top three. So looking at what we have and, and let me, I'll define it a little bit more for you, I guess what I'm asking, but Hit us with your top three things that we pretty much have either launched already or are really, really, really close to us launching out to the world here at Teaching Tax Flow. So where they're at now, give us a little, you know, little spiel on what it is in case people don't know what it is, but then also where you where you see that because you're involved in all these. Absolutely. So I think for me, uh, number one on that list has to be our Defeating Taxes Facebook page. Uh, DefeatingTaxes.com, it'll auto push you right to it. But, um that has grown exponentially over the last month. And we're seeing not just everyday people coming in, but people that they go to for advice, people that we've had on the podcast, people that have been guests, people that are content creators coming in and asking questions. And what excites me about that is the growth that is possible there to see everybody engage with you know, the multi-million dollar real estate holder or uh, the doctor, the surgeon in small town USA who runs his own practice. Uh, to be able to have those conversations and be a part of those and read those only makes us all better. Number two on that list for me um, has to be the blog that we're working on. So our on-site content, 
we're going to keep people updated on tax code changes. We're keeping people updated on new content that's dropped. Um, I'm working right now. I'm building out content that relates to every single one of these podcasts. So we have um, a multifaceted approach to getting the content out there. If you want video, here you go. If you want blog, here you go. If you want to have a conversation with someone, here you go. Um, I think for me, the, the third thing that I'm most excited about are just the flow of content ideas that are coming from others, from us, from people that we've talked to. It, it's amazing. I had a high school teacher tell me the other day, you know, Nate, um, why don't you guys make content that is specifically aimed at high schoolers getting their first job? How to fill out a W-2? How do I do my taxes at the end of the year? What do each of these things mean? And I kind of dismissed it for a second and I went back and chewed on it. And I saw a Facebook post that was like, you know, they teach us how to bake cakes, make something out of wood and learn computers, but nobody taught me how to do my taxes. And so I look and say, the flexibility and the ability to work quickly and make great content is what makes us second to none. Um, can I have a fourth? Can I have a bonus one that hasn't really been public, but I'll share it? Well, since you asked nicely i have no idea what it's gonna be so this so i'm sitting here you know twiddling my thumbs yeah what we got uh, john it's our partnership program we're getting ready to launch that okay. here shortly uh the partnership program is so exciting to me because we have all these great content creators all these great experts in their fields all these great and knowledgeable people who want a bigger platform and we are just going to act as their megaphone we are going to be that spot for them to come and get the right information so they can share it out, but also to be a resource for their followers. And that excites me because TTF is never and has never been about how many people we can get into it. It's always been about are the people that are coming in, leaving with more confidence and more knowledge. And I know that we can deliver that. And so to multiply that reach and that effort is so exciting. And I'm constantly on the hunt for new partners. I'm glad you, I'm glad you did drop that one in. So that makes me feel better that I didn't miss something on one of our calls. I'm like, Oh man, what is he going to say that I didn't even know about? Um, but that's a, a great example, vice right? President of marketing. <laughs> oh um, man. <laughs> I got lots of nicknames. We'll beard off. That's all it is. Oh, I don't know. That's maybe that should be one of our, one of our Facebook group, no surveys at, at what point should I shave this thing off? Maybe I can just do some ridiculous design or something in it. So it's, it's yeah. getting a, it comes summer. It gets a little warm. Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate your time. I mean, again, this is, I know this is probably the third time I mentioned it, you know, during this, um, but th these are great having these conversations. I, I, love I, I love these. I mean, they're completely unscripted. Um, this is just very, very fun, man. I, yeah. I enjoyed, I know this is probably about twice as long as we usually do these podcasts, but, but they're good. I, That's I really okay. Do. Hey, I, I, I know we talked about, it. I'd love to come back. Um, and one thing I, I uniquely want to do with this podcast, uh, is bring some fresh voices that maybe aren't in the tax or finance industry. I'll bring some friends with me, um, and see if we can give knowledge and confidence in areas outside of taxes as well, just for fun. Yeah. And to, to almost add a little, uh, amendment to your comment there, pretty much everybody's in this world, right? If you're a U.S. citizen and you file a return, whether you like it or not, you are you are part of this world with us. Yep. We just wear a different jersey. That's it. Absolutely. We're all on the same team. <laughs> awesome, Nate. Well, thank you again, my man. And we hey, will we'll keep everybody connected with this. I know we kind of give you a little bit of a preview on, on some of the projects we're working on. Um, but again, I would definitely urge you um, to hop over if you're if you're on Facebook, um, you can actually just go to defeatingtaxes.com um, that will drive you directly to that Facebook group page. Um, hop on there, ask any questions you have. That's probably one of the the best platforms to shoot over anything. Obviously, if you feel uh, more inclined to shoot something over private to us, you can send that over email um, at hello at teachingtaxflow.com. Um, and we'd be happy to connect you with, with Nate if it's a, a question more directed towards him or one of the other team members. But thank you again, everybody, for joining us on Teaching Tax Flow, the podcast. And we will see you next week.